Okay, on my silly thing here, all the solar panels come into here and here. They don't go anywhere yet. I want to split this thing in half. There's two different pieces. And have a switch coming off one, switch coming off another. And those both go to whatever kind of thing I have that goes to the power. So that way I can connect half the solar panels to that switch or the other half through that switch. Right. All right, two switches. Each one can do about 30 amps. Doo -doo -doo. All right, my copper bucket still has some of that. I think, yeah, I'll use some of that to make the switches. Pretty simple switch. Just needs one thing and another thing. Two pieces, that's it. Oh, wait, three pieces because the pivoty part. Okay, three pieces. Right. Okay, where do I put my switches? All right, I think I wanna cut this guy right there, move this over, put the switch on this side, and then the other switch on this side. That looks about right. Slow speed, fast speed. All right, slow down and stop. Very good, very good. It's always important to put these uh, these parts on the bottom so that gravity can't turn them on. Now what wire do I put in there? I need some either four or six gauge wire. Oh, cripes. I'm gonna have to really dig in here. I'm pretty sure all the really fat wires are at the bottom. Oh, oh yes, look at that. Now that is some heavy duty wire. Oh, tell me it's, oh, it's two separate pieces. Oh, maybe this one's long enough. Mm, that might be long enough. That's definitely thick enough. What's that, four gauge? Two gauge, wow, that is, yeah, that's definitely fat enough. <clears throat> uh, the problem with this stuff is it's so stiff. And I, I need it to be able to move and bend. really like this stuff. It's much more flexible. However, let's see, it's triple strand. Like three different wires in here. And that looks like they're eight gauge. Yes. Yep, three times eight gauge wires. Ah. If it was four strand, I could do Double them each up. Oh, now that could do it. Four strand, eight gauge, and it's nowhere near long enough. Oh. All right, maybe I can find some more of that. Two eight gauge wires makes roughly a five gauge wire. 
which is totally fine. So I'll combine two of these and then I'll have to get another another eight gauge wire to just run beside this to combine with the other one. And that'll work. I mean, I could use that, that two gauge wire over there, but it's just too stiff. Like I, I need something that's gonna be flexible that will be able to move back and forth. I think this is my best choice. Okay, one strand of this stuff plus the three in there. Looks great, plenty of length. Okay, good. I'm gonna deal with that tomorrow or the next day. I don't know. Not right now, I'm going to jump in the ocean. Okay, I've got my wires stripped. Now I need to make connectors for them. There's another thing I need to think about. So the wire is gonna be connected there and then it's gonna come down and hang and attached to this, which is gonna move. So occasionally this wire is gonna get yanked on. So maybe I'll have it come off here. Maybe I'll go right through this thing. Or maybe I'll take this one off and make a stronger one. Something to hold the wire real stiff so that if it gets pulled, it's not pulling on this. All right, doesn't seem so complicated. Looks about right. this to be stuck here. I just got a piece of PVC and candle melted it into roughly the right shape so that should be pretty secure. So I guess I should roll the lumber mill to its farthest point from here and then see how long the thing has to be to reach that far. I guess I'll just back it up as far as it goes. <laughs> Well, that's the end there. However, I might at some point want to go a little further. It, it does go a little further that way, so I'll just need to leave a bit of extra. And then does the wire come through the side here or over the top? I think it comes over the top. Because that way, when it's furthest away, the wire will be, you know, kind of hanging high. But then as it gets closer, it'll just be able to, it'll droop down more. Because if it's down here, it's just going to drag on the ground a lot more. Yes, over the top, right. Oh, duh. Okay, if I have it go over the top, it'll be fine at this end. But then when the, the whole thing's at the other end, the wire's going to want to go out the other side. But then this is going to be in the way. So it's gonna to have to go around this instead of just there. So it's gonna to have to have this extra distance, which is silly. So I think I need the wire. Oh, wait, then there's that cable there. Hmm. Well, maybe that's just something I, I just lose a bit of space. Yeah, maybe over the top is fine. I mean, the other option is to go way down here, in which case the wire could go all the way over there or all the way over here. Hmm, well, I don't know, maybe that's fine. All right, fine, I'll just have the wire go under and it'll drag on the ground sometime. Maybe uh, maybe I can have some kind of springy thing to like lift it up. Yeah, that might be a good idea, just to keep it off the ground. Uh, yeah, it's gonna come in under here. Oh, my brains are only half turned on right now. <laughs> okay, this is supposed to have one wire go to here and one wire to go to there. And then this one is supposed to go way over here. All right, let me fix this. I should probably connect these wires to something, maybe bolt something on here that connects to the wires so these don't accidentally touch or even move. I don't want those to move at all. All right, I think everything's connected right.
vibration than I prefer, but it's actually not bad. Um, I wonder if there's something I can do to take out the vibration. I don't know, maybe I just shouldn't worry about it. It's not, it's not actually that much. I think most of the noise of the vibration is just because this material kind of transmits noise very easily. Well, now I'm kind of tempted to put the blade on it. See if I can find something to cut. Mm. All right, I got the blade on there and let's see.